In this episode on YC Test Drive, we ride in a boat on the Chobe River from Kasane, Botswana. The sunset is amazingly stunning on this river. When on a boat cruise on the Chove River, animals are a usual sighting alongside the Chove River. Crocodiles are always lurking in these deep waters. Hippos can be territorial. So this is um, our second day here at the village. My wife is there walking with me say hi wifey yeah uh, so right now we want to go with a we call them boat we are going to be riding on the chove river all the way to kasane from here it's quite a distance really so i think they say it's about 45 minutes uh, but the good thing is on the river on the chove river um there's it's likely that we can see we can be we might be lucky and see some animals and some uh, crocodiles, hippos, uh, elephants, giraffes, and all that. So it's exciting. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are in the boat, 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 boat. Yeah, so now we have to paddle the boat from here because you cannot start the engine here. Mm -hmm. As well as the boat will get some grass. So we have to go right in the Chove River. That's where we will start. A village on our left is called Ijambwe, one of the biggest villages in Gavulavula Conservance. In this village, this is where I used to come and play with most of my friends. We used to paddle with Mukoro, Wato, in my language, on these rivers. It's amazing to see how the standard of living has changed. Everyone else is riding on a speedboat or a boat, or a banana boat. Clouds seems to be forming in the direction where we are heading. The thought of being soaked is still fresh in our mind from the previous day. Here, I'm packing and unpacking my gadgets, making sure everything is charged. My wife recording. The power bank is always handy in these times. Everyone else seems to be relaxed as we ride on these rivers. This is a meandering river and we keep on changing directions. At this point, the clouds appear to be behind us. But this is the direction where we are heading, where the clouds are forming. The river is about to turn again. This boat seems to be comfortable. My cousin Mutandazo sitting in front, he seems to be enjoying his views. Clouds are getting thicker. The air here is fresh. The smell of water is relaxing. Clouds are getting thicker. It appears as if we are heading into a thunderstorm. Selondela Lodge on our left. This is the lodge on the banks of the Chove River close to my village. Some of my family members work here. I should say thank you to Selondela Lodge for helping us during these difficult times that brings me here.
These are the banks where we used to fish with our fishing hooks when I was still young. And it's good this time riding on a boat. Usually, elephants are always common in this area. But I believe today because of some thunderstorms forming, elephants are further away. Everyone else seems to be enjoying the ride. Everything is going smooth so far. Seeing tourists on boat crews like this reminds me of the time when I was still young. We would be fishing on the banks of the Chove River. Tourists will wave at us. It's good to see they still do the same. They seem to enjoy greeting locals. Game viewing is always good in this area. However, these always attract predators like lions. So last time we had some lions crossing over here um, from here. Um, from right there. This is where the lions crossed, crossed over to the other side. Human wildlife conflict is always common in my area. On the 1st of January 2023, a group of tourists on a game drive on the Chove National Park in Botswana captured a video of a pride of lion crossing to Namibia side. These lions were able to kill and injure a number of cows. And because the river is very narrow, lions can easily cross over to the other side of the river. The water level on the Chove River seems to be high this time of the year and is still increasing with the rainfall. The quietness on the banks of the Chove River today is very unusual. Animal sighting is always usual here. It appears as if the rain has pushed the animals away today. Water is available in the Chove National Park. Animals do not need to come to the river this time of the year. This water is deep. Wind is slowly picking up, creating small waves. The temperatures are quite good and favorable this time of the year. Here we are just hoping it won't rain. It appears as if the clouds are slowly dispersing, heading northward. A number of lodges alongside this Chove River on the Namibian side. On the left side, Savannah Lodge. Some of my family members work here. They have a number of boats that they use for their boat crews as well.
I was keeper the big show. Sometimes he prefers standing as he is riding his boat. He's experienced on this river. He does this quite often. He knows where we are going. He knows where we are. Thunderstorm appears to be behind us. It has spared us today. This distance seems to be longer than we thought. We have been sitting in this boat for about an hour. Some headwind seems still to be prevailing. As we approach some caves heading to Kasika. I should say I enjoy being on a boat cruise. It's a different feeling from being in the car. Splashing of water from the boat makes you feel fresh. It's always a good feeling. A light drizzling from rain in this area. Here, we are now assured that we won't get soaked today. As I show my wife around here, I am her guide today. The temperature seems to be dropping down as we hit a cool breeze. Tourism activity appears to be more in this area. Different kinds of boats used for game viewing. Tourism seems to be the economical drive in this area. Both Botswana and Namibia has benefited greatly. Crocodiles on the Kasikili Island. Buffaloes are also quite common in this area. Some unique kind of boats here. Boat cruise seems to be the main tourism activity. As we make a turn heading to Kasika, this stop is a must.
Oops. Oops. Don't fall, don't fall. Okay, let pull the boat. There you go. Okay. So we are at Kasika. Uh, my family from Botswana, they just went there to go stamp their passport because they stamped their passport here, then they went alongside the river or they went to the village. So now they have to do the same, stamp their passport to say that they are exiting and then we take them to Botswana. So actually the, the, the thing that is here, it's called Ndovo uh, Lodge. Right at Kasika. So soon we'll be crossing to the other side. Okay. Yeah. We're just, just leaving now, reversing now. Now we continue Botswana. So this place is called Nzovo Lodge, as I said, meaning Elephant Lodge. Elephant. Water Villa uh, going that way. That's now Botswana, all that way, that lane, island, Botswana. Oh. We are arriving at the Sane Immigration. Just talking about the Sane Immigration. Hmm? It's fine. Okay, Mushara. Okay. okay. So now we are going to a place called the Pole Pole. Yeah, we are going now. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you this place, Pole Pole, as the number of people were enjoying themselves and respecting their privacy. I couldn't shoot a video here. But if you would want to come and enjoy yourself, come at a Pole Pole bar where people just enjoy a drink on the banks of the Chove River. We're just leaving Pole Pole, the bar. So we are leaving at 4.33. I want to see how long it will take us to get there and get home. Alright. So this is Pole Pole. This, this is Kasekiri Island. The 
the island starts from that side. From as far as that side, that's where the island starts from. There, it comes like this, like this. It goes, it goes, and it goes. So this is the whole island, all of it going all the way to the other side. Whole island. We in, we were in dispute some years back with um, Botswana over this island. Um, we took it to the High Court of Justice, the National High Court of Justice, the case between us in, um, in Botswana, and it was, it was, my people from here, by the way, from this part of the land used to say that this land used to cut off here during dry time. It used to cut off here, uh, they would push their cattle in here, their cattle used to graze around here, you can see some places it's cut now because there's a lot of flood. So they used to bring some cattle here for grazing back then. But then the other side there's also, um, the other side there's also a Chove river that side. On the other side, there where the trees are. So, um, so that side it was a bit steep by then. But somehow, as the nature changes, uh, the deposition and the uh, of, of, of sand started changing. This side became much steeper, and then the water was permanent. The other side, geographically now, we agree that this land is part of Botswana and it has been ruled. Look at the uh, the hippos there. Let me show you the hippos. Those that you see there. Those are hippos. Um, those that you see there. Those are buffaloes. Buffaloes, buffaloes. So this, this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the area where the Chindo brothers. One of the saddest incidents in the recent years in this area. The Nchindo brothers, three brothers, were shot and killed by the BDF while fishing in this area. Their mother died from the pain of mourning her children. I'm not going to go into detail about this incident. If you haven't seen it, Google it. It's still a fresh wound in most family members around here. And it's one of those incidents that are quite sad. These incidents prompted the formation of the Namibian Lives Matter movement, a movement which is determined to bring those that are responsible for the killing of the brothers to justice. Now that there is this flood time, normally it's dry in the other side, on the other side. Because it's flood time, there's lots of water going all the way to the other side. Houseboats are now usual and common in my area. Some of my family members work in these boats.
Houseboats has created employment around here, improving the living standards. And as usual as a YouTuber, I'm used to look for subscribers everywhere. This was an opportunity to stop by this speedboat and get one or two subscribers. I know the crew in here, they have smartphones. They also have access to Wi-Fi. So it was good to make a U-turn and have a chat and at least get a few subscribers. Kaivombi. <laughs> Oh. I could attend the plot. I could attend the plot. I'm going to go to the plot. I'm going to go to the plot. I'm going to go to the plot. I'm going to go Oh, I should say this is a day well spent. Enjoying the fresh air riding in a boat on the Chove River with my wife. It's memories that we will always cherish. The Chove River appears to be calm. The fresh breeze is calming.
it's always polite to greet everyone you see around here. Is the sun set? Temperature seems to be slightly chilly. But still enjoyable and the air is too fresh. The Chove River appears to be very calm in this area. Monkeys are always in the trees around here. Elephants always come drink water in this area. Crocodiles are always lurking here. The waters are deep. Never make a mistake to swim here. The colors of the sky as the sun set is amazing. Buffaloes are always around in this area as well. Quite a usual sighting. Reflection of clouds on this calm water looks really good. This area is also rich in different kinds of beds. Hippos can be very territorial. Is this young male hippo chase our boat? He seems to be agitated by our enjoyment. He just wants his space. Thank you for watching this far. Subscribe, share and comment. I will see you in my next video. Next time on YC Test Drive, my little cousin Javier runs around the village as he takes us for a quick tour. We ride on a big boat. Everyone else seems to be comfortable and enjoying this big boat. The biggest surprise of them all, the VW Transporter Cliff, the four motion shows its ability and capability in this kind of terrains. It does it with ease. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you subscribe and share, comment and like.